kind of legend, good or bad, is going to travel. The important thing, though, is to separate the legend and the myth from the truth. The only way in which the film is cursed now is the way all of that has been expanded upon and enlarged and lied about. And this has been going on for decades. I think it's yellow journalism to the max. If I were just somebody who sat at home and watched The Wizard of Oz for my own pleasure and heard the legends, I would say, well, gee, maybe those are true. Gosh, did that really happen? Fuck. The most famous of all the Oz legends is one of the earliest ones, that there is a munchkin who hung himself on the set, and you can see him in the background hanging and swinging. I've got some curses for you if you, if you want to know. Someone showed me a, um, a couple of feet of film that was allegedly once part of the cut of Wizard of Oz that had been removed when they'd learned that that dark spot up in the upper right-hand corner is a munchkin who hanged himself from the lighting grid. I saw the black blob that was supposedly the dead munchkin. When was this? During the filming of Under the Rainbow. I wasn't interested enough to get out a magnifier and, and check the validity. I bought it. It's a good story. It went from being a stagehand caught on camera to a stagehand who was depressed and hung himself on camera to an MGM executive who was so despairing of how much Wizard of Oz was costing that he hung himself on camera to an actress who hung herself because she didn't get the part of Dorothy to a munchkin who hung himself because Judy Garland wouldn't date him. I get this from grade school kids and I don't mind it from grade school kids, but it's when adults who come up to me to say, you know, there's a man hanging and it's like, Basically, one of the munchkins hung himself on the set of The Wizard of Oz. Fortunately, it was very far in the distance, and it wasn't even noticed at the time of the release. It wasn't until some real true blue film buffs who watched the movie enough times happened to notice it one day. There's a conspiracy within The Wizard of Oz that a munchkin um, hung himself in the background during one of the scenes. You see it right there on film on certain copies. Like, what the fuck's going on over there? It's not on every copy. You have to have the collector's editions. This is the one you want to own, because this is the only place to actually see the original hanging munchkin footage. And of course, uh, it's priceless. So I was very, very glad to acquire it uh, from this uh, dealer. Did he know what he had? Oh, no, he didn't know what he had. If he knew what he had, he wouldn't have sold it to me. That, that, that we know to be the truth. Now, this is an edition that collectors love also. It's the 50th anniversary edition. Unfortunately, with this, they did find the alternate footage with the, the bird from the LA Zoo, and they replaced uh, the, the hanging munchkin footage with that footage. We tried to get, uh, like, the original copy. It's the oldest copy we found. It's literally VHS. And like I said, this is the remastered version. The now they say it's a bird. And in the original version, it straight up looks like a munchkin. Like a munchkin. A munchkin. Munchkin. I'm gonna show you both versions of the Wizard of Oz, of the of the hanging munchkin scene, which is one of the most iconic in Wizard of Oz history, if not motion picture history. All right, here we go. We're off to see the wizard now. You see that? That's a that's the bird. Let me freeze this. You see what is obviously an exotic bird, like an emu? They found a big exotic bird. I don't know what the breed was, but it was a similar size to the munchkin. They put that bird in the same corner of the room. This was soundstage number two. And they shot the same scene, but with the bird flapping around and replaced it in most prints, except for the print that leaked out. And this is the one collectors want to see. This is the suicide of the anonymous munchkin. Never been identified, never will be. Um, there! Dead. His neck, neck is snapped instantly in a hanging, so. Look at that, swinging back and forth, dead. People have shared the footage on YouTube and some of these sorts of bootleg sites. 
because of the times in which we are living, there's a very worthy soul who has doctored the footage and posts it on YouTube as if to say, there you can see, it is a hanging munchkin, and this is what it used to look like. And when the rumors started going around, MGM took this out and dropped in uh, a bird. Now, it really is a bird. That's the bird they photoshopped in, man. I have no problem debunking a conspiracy theory, like the whole Keanu Reeves being a reptilian. You know, I pretty much debunked that one. But this one, I'm telling you guys, man, it's, oh. it's for real. If you watch the original, it's for real. The bird is not in the original copy. The bird is in the remade copy. And they put the bird there to make people say, you know, oh, it's a bird. It's hanging right there. Now, that is not a bird. There's no wings, and it's rocking back and forth. I mean, it's there. I think there is a great danger, not only because it's inaccurate or disproportionate, but because it is omnipresent in today's world of looking for dreck and dark.